Welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Caitlin from Morton's On The Move and today we're taking a look at the Sea Eagle Inflatable Sport Kayak. So in this bag next to me is an inflatable kayak by Sea Eagle. It is the model 370 and despite its small size in this bag, it actually expands out and inflates to a 12 and a half foot inflatable kayak. As you can see, it packs down to just a fraction of its size and the weight of the bag is about 38 to 40 pounds. So this bag makes it really easy to carry this kayak around. It's got this handle in the front and this shoulder strap in the back so that you can carry it to the shore or waterfront wherever you're going to be setting up your kayak. So in the bag you get the kayak, which as you can see folds up really small. You get two inflatable seats and these are the deluxe seats they come in a variety of different packages but we've got the deluxe seats here that we'll tell you more about it also comes with two collapsible paddles and the foot pump for inflating your kayak so now we've got the kayak all spread out here and there are three chambers in this boat there's the floor and the two side chambers there's also a rear and front spray skirt now all of these inflatable portions have one-way valves, which means you put the air in and it's not going to come back out on you. The kayak only takes about 10 minutes to inflate using the foot pump that is included. The foot pump is really easy to use, but it does make a weird sound as you're using it. After inflating the three main chambers, inflate the spray skirts. So as you're inflating it, there is this inflation monitor section printed right onto the side. And you match that up with this inflation monitor template that comes with the kayak. Simply place the template over top of here and you can see how far to inflate. As you pump, this, will, this area will expand and stretch out to the optimal inflation. To deflate, make sure the kayak is dry and then simply unscrew all the valves. Deflation happens quickly, so you can immediately start folding and rolling the kayak to push out all of the air. So like I mentioned before, these are the deluxe seats. And what that gives you is a little bit better back support and this five inches of lift off the floor of the kayak. These seats have two inflation chambers that you need to inflate. Um, they have these really nice supportive straps that you can adjust to help with that support. It has a really heavy covering and it has the back storage pouch here that you can put um, a repair kit or a compass or cell phone in. At the back of the kayak here, we have a drain valve and underneath we have two plastic skegs. On the bottom here, you can see there are these multiple ridges here. They call it I-beam construction and that's for more rigidity and stability. A lot of you might ask, how durable is an inflatable kayak? Well, this is a soft-sided kayak, so it's not going to be as durable as your hard-sided kayaks. You can still press into it pretty easily. It's still soft, but they have put a lot of effort into the durability of this material. It's sun-resistant and saltwater-resistant, and they also include a uh, repair kit with your purchase that has some glue and adhesive to fix any holes that may occur. A lot of people do use these boats with their dogs without having any issue, and we've run it over um, rocky bottoms and such and have had no issues yet. So we have had this kayak for about six months now, and we've used it on salt water, on fresh water, and I believe a couple of rivers as well. And for convenience, we love it. Um, it's easy to use, easy to set up. It probably took about 10 minutes to inflate everything. We also speed that process up by using an electric pump to help out. So uh, one of us will be pumping up, say, the chairs while the other one's pumping up these, which makes it go a lot faster. From a portability standpoint, we love that we can deflate this, fold it up small, and put it into our storage of our fifth wheel. It also makes taking it wherever we want to go very easy. From a performance standpoint, this boat doesn't feel like a toy. It feels well-made, good quality, and it's not just a cheap raft. It tracks very well with those two skegs in the back, so it keeps you going in the direction that you want to go, and it's really not that bad on speed. However, it is an inflatable boat, and it does sit higher up in the water, so you are more susceptible to that wind. You do have a little bit of drift. You're not going to have that speed as you would a hard-sided kayak. 
In general, it is quite stable on the water, and from a durability standpoint, we've been really pleased. We've drug it up onto rocky shorelines, and uh, we've had no problems with any damage. Comfort-wise, it's pretty comfortable, uh, especially with these deluxe seats. I think they do a lot for the back support. Um, however, if you are a very tall person, um, there is a little bit of cramped leg space. So I wouldn't recommend taking this kayak out on maybe like a five, six, seven hour kayak. We've mostly used it for one or two hour adventures and it's been very comfortable. You can pop your legs up over the sides if you want to get a good stretch. So one of our only complaints with this kayak is that the, these three valves right here are all right on top of each other. So when this is all folded up, they have a tendency to run into each other and make little dents on this sealing piece of plastic, preventing it from sealing properly when you have this screwed in. Those indents can be fixed by using a hair dryer or similar to warm up the area and pop those dents out. But if you haven't brought your hair dryer to the lake with you, that can be a little bit inconvenient. The seats can shift back and forth generally. We don't have a problem with it, but if you're kayaking for a while, you may notice some seat movement. Um, and the other thing that we noticed is there's no real clear indication of front and back. So we have put these seats in the wrong way before, which means the skegs were in the front and that did not work well at all. <laughs> it inflates and deflates really quickly. And when inflated, it's really easy for two people to carry. It's really lightweight and portable, but it's heavy enough that I wouldn't suggest hiking three miles with it before you get to your kayaking destination. This kayak is advertised as being able to fit three people, but honestly, I think you'd be really cramped. Overall, we've been really happy with this kayak. It's really enabled us to get out and explore the waterways on our adventures. And we love that we can pack it up and easily store it in our fifth wheel. So this has been the Sea Eagle 370 inflatable sport kayak. You can check out all the information in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and be sure to subscribe for weekly uploads to gear up for your adventures.